everybody. Um, how's everybody doing? I had to come back and do a second video today because I was on another vlog. And a vlog I love and haven't been on in a while, but I was on it today. And uh, they had a thing about a white guy writing in a letter, honestly talking about many of the black women that he comes across um, on online dating sites and stuff and saying how he was a fit male in his 40s and he wanted a fit female. He wanted a fit woman and many times he was disappointed because many black women were overweight or obese and stuff. Now really the stuff he was saying in the article I wasn't really even that concerned about. Everybody's got a thing that they want, you know and all this stuff. Everybody's got something that they want. They have a preference. If his preference, if he's a 10, wanting a 10, I can't be mad at that. If you're a 10, wanting a 10, what am I mad at? You know, now you can't be a 5, wanting a 10, but hey, if you're a 10, wanting a 10, in good shape and good physical condition, and you want a fine, you know, athletic build, black woman and all that stuff, hey, dude, more power to you. Okay, and stuff. I wasn't even concerned about that part. But I was concerned, as was the blog owner, about some of the comments that were on there and black women getting all upset and, you know, clutching pearls and dying because somebody said something about them losing weight, which I don't even really understand. Listen, if you're okay with who you are and what you look like and what you have to offer, one white dude saying something about how he likes fit, thin black women should not be bringing your world to an end, okay? I don't know what's wrong with us as black women dating interracially. I really don't understand us, but, you know, I think I do. Because we're so codependent, we're so, you know, so many of us haven't gotten love from our community or the people in our community, from family members, from from dads or moms or whatever, and we're so desperate and needy for love that anything anybody says, anytime anybody rejects any part of us, we're so taken aback and we're so hurt and so devastated, we don't know what to do. I don't, I, when I dated, I didn't worry about men that didn't want me. Could care less. I, what, the, what am I worried about people that don't want me? I was worried about people that wanted me. I am not a little woman, as you probably can see from what you see here. I am not a little woman. I am not a big woman, but I am not a little woman. I am 5'8", okay, you know, and I am a size 16. So I'm a pretty healthy woman, okay, you know, and stuff. It didn't matter to me. When I met my husband, I was smaller, still the same height, but a slightly smaller. I was a size 12 at that time. And I'm trying to get back to a size 12. Not because I'm worried that my husband going to leave me because I gained some weight, because he still think I'm the tiniest thing on earth, which I really don't get. But he still does. But because I wanted to do it for myself. But you know what? While I was dating, I knew there were a bunch of white men that weren't going to like me. Specifically because they didn't like the way I looked. Maybe they thought I was too fat as a size 12. Maybe they thought when they found out I had type 1 diabetes that wasn't really going to come my way and all that stuff. And that was fine. If you didn't want me, I was okay with that. And I kind of kept it moving and kept it pushing, you know, and stuff. Yeah, your feelings be hurt and your ego be bruised for a little while. But you'll get over it, okay? You know, but really the issue was not really with me. It was with them. Okay, you may not like me. You may not like who I am. You may not like how I look and stuff, but that's not my problem. That's your problem. I did a lot of work after I divorced my husband and we were separated and stuff. I did a lot of work on me, and I figured by the time I was out there looking for somebody again, I was a pretty good person. I had done a lot of introspection. I would actually lost a bunch of weight after we broke up. I lost a ton of weight and stuff. Um after we broke up. And so I was looking good, feeling better, feeling healthy, feeling good about myself. So one person 
rejecting me was not going to stop the show. One monkey was not going to stop my show, okay? You know, one man saying that, well, you know, I, you're not really, you're a little too big for me, or I like my girls more athletic, or whatever, was not going to make me be like, oh my goodness, I'll never find any, you know, any um, uh, um, uh, white man or, or man of another race will never find me attractive because this one said something about me. I don't know what it is about us, our need to be loved by everybody. You are not going to be loved by everybody, nor are you going to love everybody. It doesn't matter. All I needed was one person to love me and appreciate who I was because I appreciated who I was. I had good self-confidence. I loved me. If he didn't love me and appreciate who I was, that was not my problem. That was his problem, okay? I didn't ask when, when men said they would reject me for some reason or decide they didn't want to date me or whatever. If they said something about the weight, if they didn't say nothing about the weight, if they said something about they didn't like my hair, if they said something about I was too dark or I was too tall or they didn't, whatever they did, I wasn't really wondering why they didn't like me. I wasn't really asking why because I didn't really care and stuff. What I needed to do was move on with my life and find somebody that would appreciate me for who I was. Now we come to the other part of the thing. This sort of thing where black women are wanting for everybody in an interracial, when they be in an interracial relationship, they want for everybody to think their white man is the best looking white man or he the finest thing ever and all the black women be jealous. Let me tell you, I've seen quite a few women on blogs and stuff with their husbands and their what and their and their boyfriends and all that stuff you know and many black women have nice looking men but the majority of black women dating white men or non-black men those men are to me average if your husband don't look like brad pitt he's just sort of average to me and stuff you know, I'm not completely impressed. I'm not falling down. I don't think your man is the finest thing ever in life and all that stuff. I don't really need anybody to love my husband or to think my husband is attractive. I think he's attractive. I really don't give a damn what you think about him and stuff, you know. And my husband is a big man. He is 6'4", 260 and stuff. He's not fat, but he's got really big muscular arms and muscular legs, but he's got a really sort of big belly. And that's sort of a lot of guys up here. I think it's all the walking and hiking and all that stuff that gives them the nice. Because every man here has nice, beautiful legs. Old, young, fat, skinny, you know, bony, whatever. They all have beautiful legs. But, like, the rest of the body doesn't always match up. It's kind of weird and stuff, you know. But but they all have nice legs and stuff. And my husband was a... Uh, a hard worker and a concrete worker so as a kid he was skinny 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 and stuff got bigger when he worked on concrete and then when he started sitting for work he gained some weight and stuff now my husband has recently lost a bunch of weight and stuff but he still has sort of a big pudgy stomach and stuff doesn't really bother me personally i could care less if you don't find my husband attractive and i've got pictures of him on this blog if you think oh he's fat or he's whatever what the hell do I care what you think about my husband? Listen, I'm at home every day of the week because of him. My husband takes good care of me. I get to sit at home while most of y'all are getting up at 7 a.m. to go to jobs that you hate with people that you hate. I get to sit at home, and if I wanted to work, I could. But I get to, if I wanted to work, I could work a job that I actually like. It wouldn't be out of necessity. It would only be because I wanted to. I get to be leisurely. I get to get up. My husband gets up and goes to work. I get to get up and leisurely eat my breakfast. I get to call my mom who's retired or my friend who's retired from the military and say, hey, would y'all like to go to lunch or would y'all like to go shopping or would you like to do this or would you like to take a road trip somewhere for lunch or, you know, I get to go on trips with my husband. I get to do all this nice stuff. My birthday is coming up this month and the other day he asked me what I wanted for my birthday. Do you know I have so much that I can't even think of one thing to ask him for my birthday? He treats me so good, and he's so nice to me, and when he steps in that door, later on tonight, he will be so thrilled and so happy to see me. He thinks I'm the most beautiful woman in the whole wide world, 
he lets me be leisurely. And baby, I'm not a stay-at-home mama. I'm a stay-at-home wife. Okay, you know, I have a I have a lady in here. I'm about to have a lady in here, a maid in here once a month to clean up because that's something I don't do. So I'm gonna hire a cleaning lady and have her come in once a month and clean our townhouse because that's just something I just don't do. He comes in at night. Sometimes I cook dinner. Sometimes he cooks it for me. And the man has worked, you know, and stuff. I get to be sick. I don't have to run and rush and do anything. I get to take care of myself. I get to be okay and stuff. I take, believe me, I take good care of my husband, okay, and love him dearly. But he treats me so good and so wonderful. He is so loving to me. I could care less if you don't like his fat belly. Bitch, I'm living the life that you are dreaming about, okay? For real, I am. I'm living the life that most women, most black women are dreaming of living. I'm living it, okay? You know, and stuff. So I'm not really that concerned about whether or not people think he's the hottest thing to ever walk out of, ever walk out of Seattle, Washington. I'm only concerned about what I think about him and what he thinks about me. Black women, stop being so attached to every white man's opinion of you. You know, some of these dudes is just actually narcissists. And some of them know they can get under your skin with some of this stuff. And you let them. Why worry about the man that don't want you, okay? If you're okay with what you're doing, then go ahead and do it. Find the person that will appreciate it. If you're not okay with what you're doing, if you're not okay with how you look, then do something about it. Personally, I'm thinking all the people who are clutching pearls, falling out in the streets, you know, doing all the stuff, doing all this stuff, it's <clears throat> is because, it's because, you know what, they have some sort of, personal issues and probably shouldn't be dating nobody no way okay you know which person i always say a bunch of bunch of black women shouldn't be dating nobody a bunch of them should just be in therapy okay and stuff you know but i'm not really understanding all this attachment to this one it's one person and people are like well you know it's a majority you know what it may or may not be a majority let's be for real most White men around, you know, the United States are pretty average. It's not like white men is just popping and locking and they just, they're pretty much average, okay? You know, most of them look sort of like my husband, you know, and stuff. Or they may be sort of average looking. Maybe they're thin. Maybe they don't have a stomach. But most white men are not George Clooney, who I personally think is super average. Or Brad Pitt or Paul Walker, okay? You know, and stuff. They're not. Most of these men are just average looking men. And you ought to have some more confidence in yourself, some more self-confidence in who you are than to attach so much to one person's opinion. If you really are happy about who you are, where you are, what you have to offer, then that article shouldn't have had people falling out in the bleachers, being so mad, being so upset. I had to go on the FB page, the Facebook page, because I heard over there people was losing their minds and stuff about all this stuff. Hey, if you're okay with your, you know, curviness or with your extra pounds, you know what, girl, you'll probably find somebody else that's okay with them. No, you won't find a bunch of people, but you know, it may be a little tough to find somebody, but it won't be impossible. Okay, you know, and I'm just not understanding this kind of attachment you have thinking everybody is supposed to love you or think you're worthy of dating. That is just weird and pathological. Okay, please stop it, you know, and stuff. I mean, personally, you know, as I'm saying, I'm living a life I want to live the way I want to live with a man that treats me wonderful, you know, and stuff does, does, you know, does so much for me and treats me so well and stuff and makes my life so much easier and protects me and cherishes me yeah i am i'm i'm living a life m most women you know uh, even a bunch of i know a bunch of black women but a bunch of white women probably probably wishing they was living too okay you know i mean i'm living it i'm living a life okay i'm living a dream and stuff so you know i'm just saying just you know if you're okay with who you are 
if you're okay with what you have to offer, if you're okay with how you are, then the one person's opinion should not have you curled up in a ball or crying over in a Kona, you know, and stuff. It's, it's just a little bit much. All right, well, that was my little rant for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.